Firewall Zero Hour, developed by First Contact Entertainment, is an online multiplayer tactical first-person shooter created exclusively for PlayStation VR. Firewall is out now for $39.99 and supports both the excellent aim controller and the DualShock 4 controller. Firewall's premise is simple. What if Rainbow Six was in VR? But its execution of this idea is truly something special. There are three modes to choose from in Firewall. First is Solo, which sees you attacking or defending a laptop against an endless amount of AI within five minutes. Second is Co-op, which is the exact same, except you can play with up to three friends. Finally, the third mode, is Contracts. Contracts is where you're likely going to be spending the majority of your time in Firewall and it's definitely the main focus of the game. Contracts mode is 4 versus 4 multiplayer as you either attack or defend a laptop with only one life and with a wide selection of unique operators and varied weaponry and gadgets, many of which need to be unlocked with XP and boss with in-game currency and can be enhanced with a surprisingly deep customization suite. Death is not the end in contracts mode however, as upon death you gain access to the security cameras set up all around the map. You can cycle through these and maintain communication with your teammates who are still alive. These moments are almost as exciting as when you're in the action yourself and create memorable moments. Firewall is paced and designed around a heavy emphasis on tactical gameplay and team communication. Running and gunning in this game is likely to get you killed more often than not, and teams who communicate with each other are far more likely to succeed. So it's a good thing every single PS viewer headset includes a built-in mic and motion controls that allow for some basic gesturing. When all of this comes together, it is an experience unlike any other. After around 25 hours of gameplay, I've had moments of exhilarating gunfights, moments of incredible tension, of amazing teamwork, of sheer joy and of crushing defeats across all nine unique and detailed maps. It's not all sunshine and lollipops however, Firewall does have some issues and while an early matchmaking issue seems to have been already fixed after the game's first patch released, there are other problems. Chief among them is the lack of host migration meaning a host can rage quiz, end in the fun for everyone and leading to some frustrating moments. There is also a bit of an unfair tactic that has recently been discovered that I won't go into detail about here because I don't want to spread awareness of it. You could also argue that perhaps contracts mode should be a best of three round game instead of just a single round which sees you looking at the loadout screen a bit longer than I would like. But despite these misgivings, Firewall does more than enough rice to make them look like nitpicking and things that can be easily fixed. Firewall does everything right when it comes to what you'd like to see in a PSVR first person shooter. The game supports the aim controller and the DualShock, both of which are very playable, though I personally prefer the aim. The comfort settings are all optional, so no click turning and no blinders if you don't want them. And of course, left handed support is also there at launch. But beyond those major things, Firewall also does a lot of small details really well. Your gun won't simply clip through an object, it will hit off it, creating a noise that enemies can hear and requiring you to lift your gun when moving around objects. Also, the minimap is seen as an in-game tablet that is strapped to your forearm, greatly increasing immersion. The immersion also carries over to the sound design. With directional audio, when your teammates speak, you'll be able to tell where they are just from the direction of their voice. But be careful, if you stray too far from your teammates, their voices will fade until eventually you won't be able to hear them at all. The lack of a single player story campaign may be off-putting to some, but to those of us who have been waiting for a proper PvP focused first person shooter game on PSVR, this is easily worth the asking price. I had high expectations for Firewall for months before its release and I was shocked that not only did it meet those expectations, but it actually surpassed them. Firewall joins Resident Evil 7 as being the pinnacle of what can be achieved on PSVR. Firewall Zero Hour is a killer app. 9.9 .9 out of 10.